Hi, I'm Jim Moffitt, founder of Twisted Steel. I decided to uh, just start doing metal art for a living about two years ago, and so far it seems to be working out pretty well for me. Uh, the skill set I required uh, is just something I've always wanted to do. I did welding in high school, of course. Then right out of high school, I went to work for some friends that actually had a fabrication shop. Pretty much self-taught welder. The plasma cutter intrigued me and I bought one say a dozen years ago and started doing some plasma cutting. In 2000, I opened Mirage Ironworks, which was a welding shop where I mainly did decorative gates, fences. Now it's just, uh, I can do just about anything I want in steel. And it's just, it's not a job anymore. It's having fun all day, every day. What made me first decide to uh, build these fire pits is I seen a spherical fire pit, a picture of one somewhere. And after that, I started searching for round objects. And uh, it just so happens my first find were uh, naval mines that, I mean, they were bombs and I found 50 of them. Since then, I've uh, exhausted my supply of mines and I've used everything from propane tanks to ordering new hemispheres, which I'm using now because, uh, I mean, they're still being made. You know, I wish I had hundreds more of the mines because it was just super cool to build a work of art out of an old bomb. I mean, it's just really awesome. Oh, artists in my family. I had a great-grandmother that uh, she made portraits from pieces of rock and actually has a few pieces in the museum. Uh, my mom, she is just quite an interior decorator and has an eye for art. Well, it's been uh, about two and a half years ago that I decided just to do metal art for a living. And from then, uh, a lot of my work is uh, client-based. They'll say, hey, Jim, can you build this? Can you build a cross out of a horseshoe? Can you build a knife out of a horseshoe? Uh, I've done signs and I will do just anything as long as it's with metal and I think I can and I really haven't run across anything that I haven't been able to build yet and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun being able to bring your clients ideas to life and uh, see how much they appreciate my work. The way this fulfills my creative side is, uh, well, actually my shop's at home. I, I get up and I go to work every day. Most of the time I work seven days a week because this is just a passion of mine. And if I don't have a project to do, I'm working on the next project to do. What, what might someone want to sell me? I've recently got into repurposing items. I'll, I'm turning old things into beautiful things. I'm uh, old tractor parts, old insulators into lamps, uh, pulleys into lamps. Actually, I spend a lot of my free time going to salvage yards and antique shops looking for parts to bring new life into. Some of my favorite pieces are probably some of the strangest pieces that I've been asked to build. Uh, one sitting here with me is the, the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, person asked me to build and it was just so much fun that I actually bought the movie, watched the movie to get the characters right. I recently done a dragon themed fire pit that was just, just the further out the more fun it is. Uh, I'm working on one now where they just want elk and they want five bears for the five members of their family. And it's bringing other people's visions to life is what the real fun is. Well, I'm really not sure where Twisted Steel is going to take me. Uh, I can only wish for the best. Uh, you know, there's been tough times, there's been slow times. And I think as long as I'm just building something cool, it's going to be okay. I just want to enjoy the ride right now and see what time brings. If I had to characterize myself in three words would be uh, love of metal. Simple. Mm -hmm.